All right, I wanted to do a quick garden update. My gardens usually suck. This year, my garden is totally awesome. It's better than everybody else's garden. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and brag about it just because for 10 years now, my garden is usually done pretty bad. But this year, I totally nailed it. I got a bunch of compost from a farmer buddy, so it's loaded with cow crap and I guess plants like it. Um, I'll go through the plants in here real quick. I have learned a few things, um, especially in North Carolina. If you can put down newspaper with straw on top, you can make these pretty walkways. It keeps the moisture in. It keeps the weeds out. It's just amazing. I haven't even watered or done anything in this garden for a week. As you can tell, it's, it's doing great. Um, I'll start down here with my invincible rhubarb. The rhubarb... I planted last year, I thought it died, it was buried in leaves. Uh, when I was tilling the garden this year, the chickens came and ate the leaves off it. It was like tiny, and I threw it to the side and it started growing again. And finally, when it came time to plant the garden, it was still alive after the entire winter and having its leaves ripped off. So I planted it and it's gigantic. So that's the invincible rhubarb. I've got eggplant, which has been under attack. I don't use any chemicals, so it's uh, trying to survive. This uh, came up from a seed in the ground by itself. This year I did something called the uh, Florida Weave, and the, the rope just kind of goes in between all the plants. And as you can see, you just get this really cool wall of tomatoes. So are cherry tomatoes. I've got more cherry tomatoes here. Got about eight red okra plants. It's a blueberry bush a buddy gave me over there. It's kind of hard to see because there's a gigantic pumpkin growing. You got about eight basils, parsley, dill, squash. Squash really loves the sun. Everybody says put your garden in the sun. I disagree. Um, a lot of the stuff grows better in the shade. Um, I mean, it gets sun, but only for a couple hours a day. All these tomatoes, baby tomato, all these tomatoes um, are in the shade. The corn likes the sun. So, I got four corn, a squash, four corn, squash, four corn, a squash. That corn's in the shade, that corn's in the sun. Grows drastically better. Squash and corn love sun. Um, I got lots of um, peppers. I've been eating the peppers already. Tons and tons of jalapeno. Um, I got these little cayennes, I think. Lots of green bell peppers. And they've just been going nuts. I've never successfully gotten any peppers or tomatoes out of my garden of any significance. But, uh, got tomatoes galore. It's a yellow tomato plant. Got a bush tomato. Cherokee purple tomatoes. And lots and lots and lots of cherry tomatoes. Different kinds of cherry tomatoes. The only thing I've had to do to this garden is come through and clip off the suckers. Apparently they don't produce fruit. I don't know, people have mixed feelings about those. It's some extra space. I put some corn in here, but it's not getting much light. It's a melon plant. Got beets. <clears throat> um, cucumbers. They've been growing like crazy. There's already cucumbers in here somewhere. Oh, there's one. And I just kind of direct them sometimes to grow up this trellis thing that I built. Just uh, three pieces of bamboo. And that's about it. Got this cool little door. Close it up so chickens and deer can't eat it. In this part of the yard, the deer won't go through any extra effort. Um, if this was in my backyard, they'd just walk right over that fence and eat it, but not up here. They know that... Uh, uh, something bad will happen to them if they mess around up here, so. So that's it. That is the garden. I did put in a couple things. Got all the yucca plant. 
fig tree, just baby. That is my garden update. It's uh, June, early June, June 10, I believe. I will update this again in about a month.